Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. This right here, friends, this right here is why I absolutely despise Joe Biden. As a politician, I mean, the reality is I don't know him as a person. Lindsey Graham's always talking about how Joe Biden's such a great person. If you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, then it's probably, you got a problem. <laughs> he is as good a man as God ever created. So I don't know. I mean, of course I have my doubts of what Lindsey Graham says here, but I don't know Joe Biden as a person. I know him as a politician, and as a politician, he is the worst of the worst. There is no more dishonest man in the world of American politics than Joe Biden. And while most of us, of course, we've known that for a really long time, many people are getting their first dose of Joe Biden, of course, with his first term as president. And they're realizing just how much of a liar this guy is. The fact that he can say something and then two days later say, oh, oh I never said that, when he's literally on the record. I mean, we've called him out on exactly this so many times, and here we go again, Joe Biden denies reality. Joe Biden denies saying what Joe Biden said. And so, of course, we gotta fact check him, we gotta debunk him. Absolutely crazy the way Joe Biden can get away with this stuff without getting completely destroyed in the media. Again, if this was Donald Trump, they would be all after him. So, of course, let's fill that gap because the media refuses to do its job. But before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, them hidden from non-subscribed viewers. With that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks. So here's Joe Biden being questioned by Fox News' Peter Ducey, and Joe is really not happy with the question. Of course, he starts off being smug in the first place before even taking the question, and then it devolved to this. Well, it's, it's an important question, no, I think. think. Are you worried that other leaders in the world are going to start to doubt that America is back if some of these big things that you say on the world stage keep getting walked back? But let's get him walked back. It made it sound like, just in the last couple days, uh, it sounded like you told U.S. troops they were going to Ukraine. It sounded like you said it was possible the U.S. would use a chemical weapon, and it sounded like you were calling for regime change in Russia, and we know... None of the three occurred. None of the three occurred? None of the three. Mr. President? You, you interpret the language that way. I was talking to the troops. We were talking about helping train the troops in that are the, the Ukrainian troops that are in Poland. That's what the context. I sat there with those guys for a couple hours. That's what we talked about. So when you said you're going to see when you're there, you were not intending to I was referring to with, meeting with and talking with the uh, Ukrainian troops that were in Poland. And when you said a chemical weapon use by Russia would trigger a response in kind. It will trigger a significant response. What does that mean? Current. I'm not gonna tell you. Why would I tell you? You gotta be silly. The world wants to know? The world wants to know a lot of things. I'm not telling them what the response would be. Then, then Russia knows the response. Joe Biden literally just said he never said any of those things. Did you see Peter Ducey's reaction? Absolutely stunned. He's like, wait, what? Did you seriously just deny all of your quotes that have been moving around in the media over the last couple of days? And yep, of course he did. Now, the only plausible deniability that Joe Biden has, considering he's a dementia patient, is that he doesn't remember saying any of it. But of course, Joe remembers. The first statement that he goes on to try to justify by claiming, oh, well, what he really meant was that American soldiers are going to see on the ground when they train Ukrainians, I guess, in Poland is what he was saying? But of course, here was the quote. And you're going to see when you're there, some of you have been there, you're going to see, you're going to see women, young people standing, standing in the middle of the front of a damn tank, just saying, I'm not leaving. I'm holding my ground. They're incredible. And I don't know about you guys, but it sounds an awful lot that Joe Biden was describing what it's going to sound like when those American soldiers are on the ground in Ukraine. Of course, we could be wrong, there could be missing context, but that to me just seems like Joe Biden trying to clean up his own mess and trying to shift the context of the conversation. Seems a little bit odd because he's talking to American soldiers and telling them about the, all the horrible things that they're going to see when it comes to Ukrainian civilians and women in front of tanks, if I remember correctly. But he's now claiming that the context of what he was talking about was American soldiers in Poland working with Ukrainian soldiers. But then where does the element of Ukrainian civilians come into play? Is he talking about American soldiers training Ukrainian soldiers in Poland at refugee camps? I mean, I don't get it. It sounded an awful lot like Joe Biden was preparing them for what they're going to see on the ground in Ukraine. Ukraine. What it really is, is Joe Biden either misspeaking or Joe Biden accidentally spilling the truth and now having to clean the whole thing up. He claims to have said none of what Peter Ducey is accusing him of. He never called for Vladimir Putin to be taken out of power. He literally did. For God's sake, this man cannot 
remain power. So at the State of the Union address, he said, go get him. Then later on, he claims that Vladimir Putin can no longer stay in power. Then when questioned by Peter Ducey whether or not he said that, he denies the claim, while during another event refuses to walk it back. Do you believe what you said, that Putin can't remain in power? Or do you now regret saying that because your government has been trying to walk that back? Did your words complicate matters? Well, yes, three different questions. I'll answer them all. Number one, I'm not walking anything back. I mean, what is it with this guy? You know, people criticize Donald Trump for not being a great communicator, but this guy, I mean, this guy takes it to a whole other level. And then he pits the blame on you for misunderstanding him or not understanding the context. I mean, how are you supposed to interpret it any other way? When once again challenged on it during the same presser. I still want to get back to your original words that he cannot remain in power. Can you help us understand you have more foreign policy experience than any president who has ever held this office? Whether those are your personal feelings or your feelings as president, do you understand why people would believe you, as someone commanding one of the largest nuclear arsenals in the world, saying someone cannot remain in power is a statement of U.S. policy? And also, are you concerned about propaganda use of those remarks by the Russians? No and no. Tell me why. You have so much experience. You are the leader of this country. Because it's ridiculous. Nobody believes we're going to take down. I was, going to, I was talking about taking down Putin. Nobody believes that. Number one. Number two, what have I been talking about all, since this all began? The only war that's worse than one intended is one that's unintended. The last thing I want to do is engage in a land war or a nuclear war with Russia. That's not part of it. I was expressing my outrage at the behavior of this man. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. And it's more an aspiration than anything. He shouldn't be in power. There's no, I mean, th people like this shouldn't be ruling countries, but they do. The fact they do, but doesn't mean I can't express my outrage about it. In that interaction with that female reporter, he claims that nobody would believe that. This idea that Joe Biden called for regime change or taking down Putin, when that is literally exactly what was interpreted based on the statement that he made. I mean, it was clear, cut, and dry. That's what he said. I mean, even CNN called him out on that one. Caitlin, President Biden suggested that no one could have interpreted his remarks as calling for regime change. Uh, of course, Jake, many people raised that question of whether or not that is what he was advocating for at the end of the speech. But today he says he is not walking back his statement that President Putin cannot remain in power. But Jake, he also says he is not stating a new policy from the United States government, which, of course, officials in recent weeks have said they do not support regime change in Russia. That is up to the Russian people to make that decision. And the United States does not have a position on that. But, of course, it came into question after those nine words that President Biden said at the end of a very forceful speech in Warsaw. He says that he's not stating a new policy position from the United States of America. Then why did you say any of it? You're the president of the United States for Pete's sakes. The most powerful man in the country, the most powerful man arguably in the world, the leader of the most powerful fighting force in the world, and he just continues to make these off-the-cuff remarks, which is possibly, I mean, if this guy keeps acting so irresponsibly, going to lead the world into another European war. A complete fool. The President of the United States, well, this President of the United States shouldn't be allowed to speak, because every time he does, he makes things worse for the American people. And then when he faces backlash for it, when he's forced to answer and justify or clarify he either twists and manipulates the truth or denies that reality is even reality and that he ever said anything of the sort. What an absolute phony, what a liar, what a sociopathic political snake. This is the true Joe Biden, a man who acts like a literal sociopath and says whatever he has to say to get you on his side, a man who takes absolutely no responsibility for anything once his decisions or his policies lead to negative results. And on top of his lying and his just general terrible character, his brain is currently malfunctioning. What an absolute disaster. What a liar. We are truly living through some unprecedented time. That's what I got for you guys, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Share it as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribe viewers. I'm going to get back to work, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.